A weekend away with my husband we went up north to door county and wisconsin and it was the best just the absolute best trip for us right now i've been feeling so burnt out i just i've been feeling mentally fried so this weekend trip away was just perfect so my parents took our son and we were just able to have a couple husband wife weekend away and it was just the best and the town we went to was so cozy and was so, the town we went to. So we went up to Door County, Wisconsin, and it's so cozy. Very fall, colors were on point. The, we really like to hike. And so there's a lot of hikes along both, along Lake Michigan, both in Lake Michigan and then Green Bay. My husband was able to go to Lambeau. We're big Packers fans. Just, it was so perfect. So I took a bunch of footage of this trip and you're gonna see it throughout this video, but I also thought that it would be fun to read some cozy mysteries because I've never read a cozy before. The cozy I'm first reading for this video, I think I'm only gonna read two, is In the Company of Witches by Orly Wallace. And this is for the Cozy Hollow Book Club. I am, almost done with this. I read a lot of it on the car ride home and I just really like it because it doesn't require a lot of brain power. And my husband was listening to an audiobook that I didn't pay attention to. And so I was like checked out. So I was able to read this while that was playing and he got a book in and I got a book in. But essentially this is about the, it's an even fall witches B and B mystery. So this, these two aunts own this house with their niece and it's a B and B. Their niece is, like her parents passed away. I think her name's Bryn. And she, she suffered a loss. And so her magic is out of whack and she's just kind of existing, refusing to acknowledge grief, but someone is murdered at their BNB. And so she decides that she needs to help figure out what's going on because her aunt is a primary suspect. So it was kind of, it's nice because there's like magic, but not like a ton of world building. And it's kind of just a very simple mystery, very cozy. There's not a lot it's not very high stakes. I'm really enjoying it so far. It's just what I need. It's throwing me off that it's a mass market paperback because if you know me, you know I read a lot of romance novels. And so I keep expecting this to be a lot steamier than it is and like wanting romance, but that's because this looks like a, a romance novel in like size, not because it actually is. But it is, it's just sweet. I think I'm gonna read this one for sure. And then I have I think, The Secret Book and Scone Society. I also have Legends and Lattes. So maybe that will be, maybe I'll do three. And that would just be a fun video I think to do. So I'm gonna try Cozies for the first time, but you're also gonna get a vlog of, not even a vlog, you're just gonna get a lot of footage from my trip because it was so pretty and I did videotape a lot of it. <laughs>
throughout this video, you know, there's a whole bunch of footage of our Door County trip and I'm kind of filming this video <laughs> later. It's actually December, but I just, with the things that happen in our life, things are just getting filmed a little bit later than I needed to. We had a lovely trip. I talked about it at the beginning. There's a lot of footage from just various stops in Door County, which is in Wisconsin. My husband and I just love the Great Lake region. And so we're trying, we're trying to explore more of that. You'll see we did Eagle Ridge Trail, which is kind of the beginning part where you see the cliffs and we go down to the beach. We're throwing rocks. Uh, we stopped at the Peninsula Bookman, which was a bookstore in Door County. It wasn't, it wasn't super focused on new release. There was a lot of old books, military history, Great Lakes history, but it was a cute, quaint little shop. We were not the target de demographic, which I thought was cool because it was a lot of older men there, which was just an interesting dynamic because I'm used to bookstores that are a little more broad range. So that was a really fun stop. And I got a really cute book, actually, it's right here. I grabbed A Death in Door County by Annalise Ryan, and it's it looked cute. So I've also seen this around on Instagram, and I think Fabled featured it. And so I knew if I went up to Door County, I wanted to get this book. Something else that was really cool about Door County is the water is so clear. So this was on Lake Michigan. We were on Lake Superior previously when we went up to the North Shore of Minnesota, which I still think I prefer just because it's a different vibe, different environment. Lake Superior is a much harsher lake, uh, but this was really a beautiful, like the water was crystal clear, you could see. And we were in October, so it wasn't like we were swimming or anything or doing any kayaking, but it was seriously stunning. So it's a peninsula is what the county is. And so you can kind of, we just drove all over. They're really known for like apple orchards, but we really like to hike tons of breweries, tons of cideries. Uh, we loved Door County Brewing. We have a thing for old beat up pickups and that was their mascot. Uh, my husband drove like an old beat up red pickup forever. And we just really liked that set up. Ephraim is probably the cutest town ever. We, it gave me a lot of Gilmore Girl vibes. And so, um, like it was very fall, fall festival oriented. It was so cute. And we did, um, you'll see a whole bunch of footage. I just loved how beautiful it was and fall was starting to come out in full force. So I hope I'll, I'll keep pulling in different footage throughout this, this video, but oh my gosh, it was just the most perfect trip and exactly what we needed at the time. So unfortunately this fall trip is going up in December because life happens, but I just wanted to share it because it was so fun. Saturday morning. So this series is going to be, it was going to be cozy mysteries. Sorry, my dog is nudging my camera. It was going to be cozy mysteries, but I actually have a book that's not really cozy, but like fits the vibe due back at the library. And that's the very secret, very secret society of irregular witches. And it is gross and dreary out. It's been raining 
a lot today and we're I have a sick toddler it's just kind of a chill day today so I'm gonna try to read this one this weekend and then also legends and lattes hello so <laughs> my dog thinks that I'm talking to somebody that's at the door probably so this video was supposed to be a cozy reading vlog and cozy mysteries mainly but given the swing that my mood reading took and just everything else I'm going to edit this away first I want to talk about in the company of witches by Oralee Wallace which was a part of the cozy hollow book club and I read that like I said on the way home from Door County predominantly I really really liked it and so I think I would continue reading that series more cozies have a purpose I think and they're light fluffy non-committal and I actually want to take back the fluffy I wouldn't say they're necessarily fluffy but they're comforting and in the company of witches specifically deals with grief on top of just having a cute cozy mystery but it really dives into what grief is and um how losing someone you love can really affect your life I just it was a really beautiful exploration of grief I did notice in October when I was reading that book, I actually happened to read three other books that were all kind of magical, kind of witchy with grief as an undertone. And I think of those three. So I'm thinking of In the Company of Witches, The Dead Romantics, and The Undertaking of Heart and Mercy. I do think that In the Company of Witches did a fantastic job and was the best exploration of grief that I had read that month and so I really did enjoy that book. They, I don't necessarily love cozy mysteries. I understand their purpose and maybe at another time they'd be perfect for me but I want a little more substance, a little more darkness, a little more grittiness. Loved in the company of witches it was a really great foray, foray into cozy mysteries but I just wasn't like loving it. So I'm not sure if cozy mysteries are for me. I will continue to kind of follow along with the cozy, the cozy hollow book club and see what they recommend. But I just think perhaps I like a little more depth, darkness, grittiness, romance, steam, just a little bit more. Like I just think that's where I didn't adore the cozy as much as I thought I would because I wanted a little bit more. I also tried to read Legends and Lattes and again, the same thing. It's very low stakes fantasy. You did not need to know a lot going in, but I actually DNF'd it, which I know is an unpopular opinion and not necessarily because I didn't like it. It was due back at the library. I had a bunch of other books to read. I could live without reading this and be okay. I read half of it and I was just, it was okay. There wasn't a lot in there for me and I know it is endearing, it was precious, but it just wasn't necessarily for me. So DNF'd it and returned it and I'm sorry to all of you who love it. So that's where we went with that. It just got DNF'd and returned to the library and I will leave it at that. I probably will not check it out again. Okay, so one of the wins for me, and like I said, this became less of a cozy vlog, more of a books that made me feel cozy inside vlog <laughs> because I didn't want to keep reading cozy so I'm going to talk about the very secret society of irregular witches and if you have not picked it up like it's so hyped right now it's so well deserved it's about this girl who is a witch and in this world it's a very it's not a very long book super easy to read in a couple sittings it takes place in England this in this world witches actually can't gather together because if there's too many they think bad things will happen and that's great and it keeps them protected from being discovered but it's also bad because witches are isolated and can't really gather this very secret society of irregular witches is a name named by this main character for this gathering of witches they gather I think once a month or something to meet just to discuss spells and stuff but there really isn't a community. This main character is actually like an influencer YouTuber and she does witchcraft, but like 
not real witchcraft on her YouTube channel. She's discovered by this house, this family that takes in these three girls who are witches, like an older gay couple. And then this librarian, like crotchety, grumpy man about our age. And then these three girls and these girls need some like need females in their life. They need someone to rein them in a little bit. And this guy is watching this YouTube channel, this elderly man finds her and reaches out to her for a job to be like their nanny because he suspects she's a witch, but doesn't know for sure. And sure enough, she is. And so she takes this job and starts like teaching these girls how to rein in their magic. It is the most endearing found family book I think I've read this year. It was so cozy, so much fun. I think everybody should read it. It deserves all the hype it got. It was probably one of my more favorite like romance novels of the year. It was just so endearing and so cozy. And I read it about the weekend we got back from Greer County and kind of held off on doing a review for it. But there was a little bit of steam, not totally the open door that I love, but very, very well done. Uh, great little romance found family. Definitely deserves the hype if you like witchy books. So totally recommend. But yeah, I guess with Cozy Mysteries, I'm not saying I won't try them again. I actually have one by Ellery Adams. I think it's a secret book in Scone Society that I will read at some point. I just think that of all the books out there in the world, it's just not my favorite genre. And so at the time, it wasn't going to be for me. Not that I won't pick them up again. I would like to know if you have a cozy mystery you really love and think I would like because I'm open to that. I think the other thing that's hard for me is I don't know a lot of cozy authors and so I don't know what to pick up next to try. So I would love to know that in the comments. Always be sure if you like what you're seeing to like and subscribe and help me grow my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by today and until the next video, see ya.